I was, I was very struck by the fact that at its heart um, was this very dark idea, this very dark premise of a show, that in the opening moments, you know, an entire civilization is lost, that your heroes are essentially the, the survivors who run away into the night, and that they are pursued relentlessly by their enemies, and they just have this hope of finding a place called Earth. And it was a really sort of like, you know, startling idea that that would be the premise of a science fiction television series. And when you watched that show, a few, a very few months after 9-11, you couldn't help but sort of draw the parallel and, and realize that if you made this show now, if you really presented this show truthfully and really sort of tried to take the premise seriously, people were going to bring to it their own experience. They were going to bring to the show their experiences, their memories, their feelings of what they were going through as people in the moment. And I realized, well, that's an amazing thing. You know, that's a gift. That's, that, that's a chance to do a, a show that means something and that has a certain amount of relevance to it. Are you consciously doing that yourself? Bring your own um, memories of your experiences to, to the show? I think so. I mean, um, consciously and unconsciously, you know, uh, everything for sort of, you know, macro story levels of, you know, uh, how we deal with issues like liberty versus uh, security and, you know, and what it means to be in a society that, that suddenly is very afraid that they might be attacked again and how, they, how you balance that in terms of a democracy. And then on just sort of almost an unconscious level where there's just little touches, you know, grace notes within the show, things like, you know, the memorial wall where people put up pictures of all the family members that they've lost. And that's something I just kind of wrote and realized that it was really lifting it, you know, directly from things that you had, you had seen.